Let's return now to the issue of railroad speed limits. The federal classification system, originally developed in the late 1940s, is still our national standard today, consisting of different classes of track, each rated for an increasingly higher top speed. The increment between classes is usually 10 miles per hour, but occasionally more, with passenger trains generally allowed to travel 10 miles per hour faster than freight trains, though occasionally more. Most mainline tracks are maintained to a class 4 standard, which allows passenger trains to run at 80 miles per hour, or technically 79.9999 repeating miles per hour. Freight trains on class 4 track are allowed to run at up to 60 miles per hour, which is plenty fast for most freight operators, since heavy cargoes don't generally need to get places at high speed, and maintaining and certifying track to a higher standard isn't usually worth the costs. There are plenty of exceptions, especially out west, such as the BNSF Kansas subdivision, which was the historic route for several Santa Fe Streamliners. The railroad still maintains several sections of Class 5 track, where passenger trains can run at up to 90 miles per hour, while freight trains are allowed to run at up to 80 miles per hour. When these class standards were laid down in the 1940s, the highest standard was a Class 6 track allowing both freight and passenger trains to travel at up to 110 miles per hour, and subsequent classes of 7 and 8 have been added on later, allowing speeds of up to 125 and 160 miles per hour, respectively. A future Class 9 track has also been categorized, allowing speeds of up to 220 miles per hour, but so far, no track has been built to that standard in our hemisphere, which leads to the question of how these standards are defined in the first place. The answer is that there are multiple requirements that must be met or exceeded in order to qualify for higher speeds, including the level of track maintenance, i.e. how smooth the track is to run on, the weight tolerances of the track and associated structures, since faster trains cause more vibrations, the geometry of curves, both horizontal and vertical, i.e. no sharp curves, and visibility at grade crossings, meaning can a train be seen as it approaches with enough warning time to get out of its way.